We begin with breaking news this Friday evening. The suspect accused of gunning down two Tampa police officers is now in custody. Dante Morris, an accused cop killer, turned himself in just moments ago with the help of an attorney. Thank you for joining us. I'm Stacy Scheibel. He is accused of killing officers Jeffrey Kokab and David Curtis. And News Channel 8 Samara Sotos is live right now at Tampa Police Headquarters with these breaking developments as we speak. Sam? Well, Stacey, just like you said, this is the news that uh, we have been waiting to hear all week long. Dante Morris is now in custody here at the Tampa Police Department. Uh, as we understand, he was picked up uh, within the hour. Uh, I have heard that he has been picked up at a law office somewhere in South Tampa, and he is now here. Um, they're trying to question him, but as we understand, he is uh, with a lawyer right now and um, probably uh, not going to be questioned because he is in the custody of a lawyer. Uh, but again, Dante Morris now uh, has turned himself in. And uh, we also understand that Police Chief Jane Castor is supposed to come out here any moment now and brief all of us. Um, very quickly, all of, uh, the media came out here in a huge rush. There are also uh, lots of bystanders out here and um, even police officers who came out here probably want to get their first glimpse of Dante Morris, um, who will eventually make his way outside here and um, on his way to jail, uh, who will ultimately uh, be charged in the killings of Tampa Police Officers uh, Jeff Kokab and Dave Curtis. Of course, uh, there was a uh, warrant out for the first degree murders of those officers and, of course, this manhunt all week long for Dante Morris. So again, uh, Dante Morris uh, arrested uh, just within this past hour and we understand that that location was uh, somewhere here in South Tampa and we think it was at a law office that he turned himself in. They picked him up at that location and then brought him uh, to here to Tampa Police Headquarters and are now talking to him now or trying to talk to him now. We're not really sure how that is going, but uh, Chief Jane Castor will come out and let us know how that is going. Hey, Stacey. Sam, um, you know, this is all on the heels of a very emotional public wake that was held tonight from 6 to 9 for those officers. You were there for that. Kind of tell us the mood. So many people who didn't even know these officers were there for the wake tonight. Well, you know, it's really amazing because I've been out at the command post all week and you really sense um, with them hunting for Dante Morris all week, um, kind of a, a, a mood, a lot of mood swings, a lot of deflation, a lot of the exhaustion setting in, and then the wake, this wake tonight is so emotional. And uh, with something like this, with this arrest, you know, it, it's, uh, you can only imagine would be such a, a, a huge upswing for them. And I think that's why we're seeing a lot of officers showing up right now and even um, people on the streets showing up right now. I mean, it's really like within the past five minutes, a lot of people showing up here at this late hour. So, um, you know, it's so emotional. This whole week has been so emotional. And obviously that visitation was so emotional. There were thousands, uh, or I mean hundreds of people there more than a thousand people there at the church and then they expect uh, thousands of people there tomorrow maybe between six and eight thousand people there tomorrow and Sam I think we can all agree that the community is going to breathe a collective sigh of relief knowing that he's turned himself in Dante Morris has been hunted for four days around the clock all the officers uh, hundreds of them never giving up after the uh, shooting on Tuesday early in the morning. Now here's some video of some of those searches last night in the driving rain. Officers were out going door to door, SWAT teams going in and searching complete apartment complexes. Any tips they got, which numbered in the hundreds, they followed up to see if they could track down Dante Morris. It's actually a little surprising to some of us who have been so closely following this case that he turned himself in. A lot of people speculating how would this end? Hoping it wouldn't be in a hail of gunfire or, um, you know, anyone else being injured in this case, Sam. Do you, do you agree with that? You know, it really is amazing, but we'll hear all of the details from the chief when uh, she comes out to tell us. Um, I can tell you from being at the command post that uh, they really did follow every lead. And I think right now we do see uh, the chief and uh, the rest of the higher ups coming out. So there's the mayor, Tampa, uh, Tampa Mayor Pam Iorio, and the police chief. So let's 
uh, set that up for you all to hear from her. We're going to take out. a listen in. Press conference, yes, Mayor Pam Iorio and Tampa Police Chief Jane Castor about to address the media, tell the community exactly what happened tonight with Dante Morris turning himself in after a manhunt that stretched four right. days. Here's Police Chief Jane Castor. This evening. We have placed Dante Morris under arrest for the murder of Officer David Curtis and Officer Jeff Kocab. He was arrested at a location. A third party turned him in approximately 45 minutes ago.